It's not every day that a Bach Strad passes through your local shop, but today is that day. This is a Vincent Bach Model 36B B flat F tenor trombone. So if you're interested in hearing how this thing plays and hearing what I think of it, make sure to stick around. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're all well. I'm Sam from Samuel Plays Brass, live again from the practice rooms here at Clearwater Music Center, taking a look at a really special instrument today. Let's start with some general trivia on what the 36B is and how it fits into the Bach ecosystem. Bach makes several professional trombones. Notably, the 36 comes in two versions, the 36 plain version, kind of the pea shooter, and then this is the 36B, technically speaking. It's got this classic circular rotor with F attachment. It's a closed wrap, nothing too special there. It's got a pull slide so that you can extend for the low B natural, should you need that in any case. And what's unique about this trombone is its bore size. You see medium large bores all the time on trumpet, but in my experience, rarely if ever on trombones, most student models will have a bore of around 0.500 or 0.508 inches. This is a 0.525, which is kind of a unique size in between small and large bore. As a result, it takes a small tenor shank mouthpiece, in this case a Dennis Wick 6BS in gold plate, uh, it's a really fun mouthpiece to play on, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, again, classic rotor, very ergonomically designed paddle, uh, kind of a ball joint linkage back there. Really, really fun trigger to play on. I like the experience of pressing it, unlike some trigger trombones. Again, closed wrap, F attachment. You have your tuning slide here, just standard setup, no tube reversal. And on the bell side of things, you got your standard eight inches. It's about a hand span for me. Nothing too special there. And honestly, even though this trombone is on the smaller side, I think, for me, it plays pretty open and yields a nice orchestral sound. In general, I think it would make a good step-up horn, or a good horn for someone with smaller lungs, like me, being 5'4". For me, personally, I like large bores, but this doesn't feel too bad in comparison. Honestly, this is the best non-large bore I can say I've played. <laughs> So of course, the sound of a medium bore trombone is not quite going to match the sound of a large bore trombone, but it has its own set of merits. I think on this trombone, it's easier to kind of have a versatile tone palette between the brightness of a jazz trombone and the depth of tone of a classical trombone. And this sits somewhere in the middle and kind of allows you to do either freely. Most pea shooter trombones are really, really hard to play classical on. They almost resist it. And on the flip side of the coin, most large bore, you know, Bach 42 type deals, actually will back up on you if you try to play too bright, at least without using a very shallow mouthpiece, which is hard to come by and not fun to play on for trombone players. What I like most about this trombone is its blend between shooter volume and actual projection. If you look at small bore trombones, they have a lot of carrying power, they'll cut right into the audience with their sound, but that sound as a result ends up being kind of strident if you push it too hard. On the other side of the coin again, with large bores, it's hard to get a lot of volume out of it unless you have gigantic 7 liter lungs. So this sits in the middle and juggles both jobs pretty well. It kind of balances them and creates a sound that will carry out into the audience but isn't as bright and tinny as some small boards get. This horn is agile and responsive and you can transition through all the registers with ease. The F attachment register, despite being a closed wrap F attachment, is in my opinion very nice. You can get just enough sound out of it. It's not stuffy, it doesn't back up on you like some closed wraps do. You can play low F and first, even with a little bit of slide pull, without any problems. There are some trombones for which first position low F just sits flat and sounds dead and has no resonance, no volume because of that closed wrap and because of it just being a little bit too low in general. But 
but you can play low F and first on this horn no problem. All the notes in between there and low C at the end of the slide feel nice. You can really crank them if you kind of angle the horn up just a little bit. Pedals all bark out just as you would expect on a trombone like this. I like smaller bore pedals. They have a, a roar to them that sometimes you, it's hard to get on a large bore trombone. So I enjoy just blasting pedals and trigger notes on this horn. <laughs> Up high, nothing to complain about. If a trombone has a good high B natural in second position, it's a good horn, and this horn certainly does. You'll hear that in a Mahler excerpt here. And overall, through all the registers, I think this trombone maintains a very nice, not only sound, but versatility of sound and flexibility. In summary, if you're looking to upgrade to your first trigger horn as a developing classical or concert player, or if you're just looking for something a little bit more compact that's not an air guzzler like the Bog 42, which by the way I'll mention is such a fun horn, but if you're looking for something more compact, I think the Bog 36B is about as good as you can do. It really is a responsive and fun horn to play. Everything feels great in the hands from the trigger to the slide to you know, just holding the trombone in general. The orchestral excerpts I throw at this, it really helps me to sing through them. It's got a great sound that balances brightness and depth, um, sheer volume and clarity, as I've mentioned. That's where this trombone really excels, is giving you a sound that's right in the middle of the compass and lets you explore in any direction you choose. So, overall, a very fun horn to play. I'll be sad to see it find a new home, but hopefully its new owner will treat it well and use it to its fullest extent. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to stick around and leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. If you like these reviews, make sure to check out the instrument review playlist up in the card on screen. That'll be all from me today. This has been Samuel Plays Brass, once again reviewing the Bach 36B B-flat F tenor trombone. Until next time, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side.